How you doing everyone? It's Kevin back on another video. As you know, the structure passed the inspection. Now we're going to move on to the electric. Um, we have a lot of holes to uh, drill. Julie and I are over here tonight. We're going to drill as many as we possibly can. Um, and we have outlet boxes to put in. We have a lot of outlet boxes. And I did uh, hire a guy to actually help me on these steps so we can get it to pass code. So I have a really good electrician and he's coming in and telling us if we're doing it right. And you know, it's, I don't mind paying a little bit of money to somebody to make sure in the long run I don't have to rip a bunch of electrical out and re-put it back in because I did it wrong. Or, you know, I would rather just do it once and be done with it. So we're going to get to drilling some holes. We got a new tool here we're working with today. It is a uh, laser level. Pretty cool little machine. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. So we're going to get to drilling. Alright, so now we're going to take the laser level since we got all of our holes drilled in here. We're going to move this laser level down and we're going to do the top of our boxes. Our boxes are going to be 18 inches off the floor. Boy, do we have a mess again. Julie's got lots of wood chips here on the floor. We got tons of holes drilled. We have all the boxes in this room. And what I did when I came to the corner, we drilled across there. We haven't run our wire yet. But I put this little wire in here just so I can hook that to my 12-2 wire and pull it through. We did that to both corners and both bedrooms. So we have them in and here's how our boxes are going to go up here. Now the bottom one is going to be for the electricity and the top one is going to be for the coaxial wire, the antenna wire. And uh, we have this one wired up too. The one on the left will be for the coaxial and the one on the right will be for the power. Hope I'm allowed to do that. I think I am. We'll see. But uh, light switches are in and uh, outlets are in both these rooms and all of the holes are drilled all the way around. And we also did this corner the same way we did the other one. Put a piece of 12-2 wire through there, just a piece of scrap wire. Tied them off for when we're ready to uh, put our 12-2 in, it'll be pretty easy. We'll just tape it to the wire and pull it through. And uh, we got this one wired up there for uh, antenna and power. Uh, now we do, we got the switch in this one too, there and there. Uh, we have lots of outlets. There isn't six foot go by in here, you ain't got an outlet. It's about every six foot. Now we got the lights for, I think, did we get the lights for the closet or no? No, we got the, you're gonna use four inch. I don't know yet. Okay, well, we do have some lights that we're gonna be put in the hallway and out in the kitchen and living room. And I'll show you guys those just a little bit later. Uh, they're pretty awesome, uh, definitely an awesome setup. Our, the electrician we got coming in and telling us what to do. Uh, he told us about the lights and I think they're actually really cool. I think you guys are gonna like them. But anyhow, you can see we're getting ready to do the bathroom. Uh, we got our little little laser going there. I love this little thing for this work. It's actually really nice. Uh, so there's our line. We're going to get to start drilling some holes. And what we're doing with these holes is we're drilling halfway. We got a two by six wall. We're drilling halfway. We go halfway on this board and drill through. And the same way with the two before. We drill halfway, drill right in the center of every board. So it's time to start on the bathroom already. 
We have the boxes in the bathroom. All the boxes are in, holes are drilled. And in the uh, laundry slash utility room, we have the boxes in here. Now there's not a lot of boxes in here. Of course we have the washer and dryer over here. We got hot water tanks on this corner over here. And those are all gonna be run on their own separate circuit. Uh, now, if you're going to be putting, like, we're going to have a freezer, an upright freezer in this corner here. So that one is going to have to be on its own circuit by itself. And then we have some work to do right in here for our wash machine, and it has to be on its own circuit by itself. So basically, a lot of them big things have to be on their own circuit, like your refrigerator, freezer, wash machine, maybe where you're going to plug a toaster oven in. So... We're working right now on the living room. And we have the little laser level setting up. All the holes are drilled already. We're just gonna go through and pull all of our boxes in. That little laser is actually pretty cool, man. I like it. Nope. We make one mark on the on the wall and then put the laser up and continue marking, you know, just put your boxes in. That's yeah. it. I just wanted to show you guys just how easy it was using that laser to put those outlets on. As you can see, it's pretty easy and fast. It just marks them for you and then you go right around the room doing them. You can see how they go. Now if you walk in front of one, you'll see it'll make it go out, which is okay. That is really neat. Like I said, really easy to work at thing. So we have all the boxes in the living room. The electrical boxes are in. Uh, the box up there for the TV. We have to put one more up there for uh, the antenna wire. So we're gonna get that one up. And then we're on to the kitchen. So now we gotta figure out the height of a box above a countertop, which I think Julie got the, the above it, but then you gotta find out how tall your countertop's gonna be off the floor. There's always so much that you have to know to do this, and it is hard. That's why you gotta go buy one of these guys, too. But you know what, this book is not as good as your telephone. Google. I mean, yeah, Google. I've been looking everything up on Google. Google is what we go by. I mean, you almost can find anything on Google now, which is really cool. Uh, something else I wanted to show you guys I picked up. A lot of these holes were really hard to drill, really hard. Could not get the drill inside there, so I picked one of these guys up. I'll leave a link on Amazon for one of these if you guys are interested in it. And I'll leave a link for some extensions. So you can uh, use uh, an extension rod, which you'll need these if you're doing a barn dominium to get through the big beams. And I used a uh, paddle bit, three quarter inch paddle bit. Got a couple of them here in the drills. And I used a auger bit like this on another drill. Uh, Julie was using this drill up here on some. And we were using those two drills on some. We had this drill here. This is an angle drill, a Dewalt angle drill. Rick uh, loaned me this one to do some holes and Julie was using this bit. The bad thing about using an auger bit is when you get into a big beam like this and you're going through and if it won't go all the way through, this thing will get stuck in there. So you have to be really careful with this type of bit when you're drilling it. This is probably the best bit to use, but it's... Yeah, single board's great. These big doubles, I like to use a paddle bit and go back and forth, clean the hole out. But this one here, you really can't clean the hole out. This bad boy's gonna go in and it ain't stopping. So we're just about done with all the boxes. Uh, I can't probably, think still have to think a little bit. Yeah, uh, you know, everything you do, you gotta think, and then you gotta make sure code is okay. And yes, this house, somebody asked me again about code. Am I going by code? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting inspections. I got a permit to build this thing. Uh, we definitely going by code. So 
That's why we have the code book. Yes, that's why we got code books. We got more than one code book. We got three, I think, here yeah. on different things. And, Plus our phone. And the phone. And I got an electrician. Yeah. And I got a carpenter. Helping us, yeah. Helping us, yeah. So it's a lot to do on one of these buildings. Uh, somebody asked me just the other day, well, he, maybe today, uh, asked me uh, about building a barn dominium. What is the best advice we could give them? And my answer is, uh, first of all, check your area and see if you can build a barn dominium. And then find you a good carpenter that you can trust and if you plan on doing the work yourself then you know have that person on hand to answer questions as you go uh, there's some more about even the structure I would like to make a video on how we laid the walls out and like when we say we laid this wall out right here now, when we lay this wall out, you if you look, every so often, one of your uh, studs will line up with your truss. Now, my uh, carpenter knew that to do that. And your inspector is probably going to look for that. And you want to make sure that you have some of these trusses. Like, I'm on 16 inch centers on these walls, but I'm on 24s on the top. But as you see that one there rests right on top of the stud you know this one don't this one here doesn't uh, that one doesn't but that one does see how that lays right on top of the stud so that's something to know when you're going to build a structure like this so i'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow uh, we should be in the kitchen hopefully we learned enough <laughs> to put the boxes in the kitchen and then I'm hoping by the weekend we are running wires. We still got the box to put up. I got a 200 amp box. It's a main breaker box. Uh, I got 32 spaces in there. I would rather have had a 42 space box, but guess what? I can't find it. I've looked at every Lowe's. I've called electrical stores in my area. I uh, found this one here at uh, Home Depot, and it's a value pack with some extra breakers. But you know what? We're going to have a whole video on breakers because you guys are not going to like this. Not in my area, anyhow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, and maybe we'll get this box put in tomorrow and get some outlets boxes in here and all the holes drilled, hopefully. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.